Hello beautiful people and welcome to our today's tutorial on cute looks. Um, today I will be making a kaftan with um, a kenu neck. So many of us have issues with our kenu neck. Whenever we make our kenu neck we always have here this angle. The end point always have issues. Talking about a kenu neck, we're talking about something like this. Can you see? It's a kenu neck. You can see it's high and as if it's a bit running out of your shoulder. So if you're not careful, it look as if you're making a wide neck. It's not a wide neck, it's a kenu neck and it needs to be relaxed. So on this video, or rather in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to make a, con a proper kenu neck so it will last. But I'll be making it on a kaftan here so that you understand how to make a kenu neck, how to manipulate your shoulder angle to make your kenu neck and see how your direct measurement. So in front of me here is the material I'm going to explain to you. So that's it. So guys, here on the table I have my beautiful wax. I'm going to start from the shoulder before any other measurements because of the type of neck I have here. So this is it. You can see this material is a material with pattern design. Not like we have the pattern up and at the downside. You can see this is it. I'm trying to work with this pattern so that this will fall at the middle when I start designing this clothes. So this is it. I have my shoulder up here. My shoulder says 16. And because I'm using an English sleeve, I'm going to be adding half inch to the 8 inches. When I divide my 16 into 2, it's going to give me 8. So I'm going to be adding half inch so that when I connect my sleeve, it will stay relaxed. But if it's something that I'm working with a pleat on this, um, a flat sleeve or a sleeve that is having a puff around this angle, I really don't need this half inch. So when I sew, it will relax it and then to correspond well with my shoulder and the armhole. So right here, I'm dropping my eight and a half inches for my shoulder and uh, that always use my one and a half to slant my shoulder then I'll use my ruler to connect to the midpoint of my back so this is it I have my measurement um, to get your kenu neck we all know our kenu neck is not always deep at most we always start with three inches but well, some people will say it chokes them so these days People bring, down, bring it down to 4 or even lower. But here I'm going to be working with a kenu neck of 4.5 inches so it doesn't choke the owner of this clothes. So here I'm going to start with 3 inches around here. And then I'm going to take my curve. So curve this out. You can see I'm just having a round neck. It's not giving me my kenu. While I'm making this, you notice my measurement up here is short and that's why I've not taken my standard body measurement. I'm going to come here again and take two and a half inches. You can take two, you can take two and a half, but I want to take two and a half inches here. Or rather, let me even do three inches so my candle will come out real good. And then I'll come to this place. I won't be dipping it like this. I'll make it a bit slanted like a candle. Can you see? And so I have this shape here. So you see, because I want this kenu neck to be low. But if you want it high, like some people like to have their kenu neck high, you keep it at three and a half inches here. You see how it's going to look when I make my three and a half inches. That's where you have the direct shape of kenu neck. Can you see? It? It's looking perfectly like a kenu neck. But the owner of this clothes actually wants it lower. So you can see we don't have much at the shoulder that decide to hold back. That's why when you make um, a kenu neck clothes, the sh um, remaining part of the shoulder is always small. If you don't use this method, you just make your kenu neck like, okay, now you just put your tape and say, okay, normal, normal, I can take six inches. You find out that when you curve it, it will not give you that measurement. Why? Because you just used your six inches there without slanting your shoulder before having this measurement. You must bring out your three inches, connect it out to the point of the length, depth of your top, of your clothes be you're making a top or you're making a kaftan like I have here any other kind of clothes after your three inches you still have to bring out extra don't go and just drop your five inches or your six inches that way no you will never be able to get that can real good to keep going deep so you achieve your three inches first and any other thing you want to add you can go as far as adding four inches here depending on how wide you want your cane to look so you see I'm having another shape again of Keno. I think I even prefer this one. So either you're using this, you're using your two and a half inches, 
the three and a half inches or four, depending on how wide that person wants the neck of their canoe to be. So I'm going to be using four inches here in total of seven to open up my canoe. Can you see? Now if you notice something, this point here we have just half inch that we're losing here. But at this angle, I'm having more than it. I'm having one true quarter. Can you see? Oh, rather, one quarter here. Can you see? One quarter has gone off my measurement. So since I've gotten my neck points, that I, how, the wideness of my neck, this is where my measurement will start from, not here. This is where my measurement will start from. That is where I'll start taking the measurements of my caftan. So before I continue that, I'm going to be taking my armhole measurement. I'm going to be using eight and a half inches here. I'm going to take my boss length of 11 inches. I'm going to take my half length, a half length set 16 and a half. I'm going to be using 17 so that when I hold my shoulder, I'm going to be having my 16 and a half. And then our hip length says 25 and a half. I'm going to place it here. So then I'm going to rule them out so you see. This is going to be my boss length, my ammo length. This is my half length, which is the waistline. And this is the hip length. I don't want to start chucking the whole body of this. I have to rule it out for you to see. So this is it. Then my showed my chest area. I'm going to take my shoulder all the way down to the armhole length. So I can connect this real good. So this is it. Then I'm going to take my one inch to lift the armhole area. I'll come up here and take my 5 inch which is here take a half inch in and then I'm going to be using my armhole curve to connect this angle so you see I take it this way to my half inch meet with my 1 inch and then curve it out can you see so I'm going to start from my boss measurements, which I've gotten my boss line, the boss length, the half length, and the hip length. So I'm going to come to the boss length facing the boss line to take my boss measurement, which says 38. I have it here. My boss measurement says 38 and a half. My waist says 36, and then the hip says 45. So I'm going to be dividing each and every one of them into four. So eight and a half inches here. On our tape says into two, it says 19 quarter. 19 quarter into two is giving me 958. So I'm going to place it here. My 958, I'll place it down here. I'm going to add one inch as my seam allowance. I'll lift it up, up to the armhole side. I'll come to my waist that says 36. My 36 into two says 18. This is 36. We all know 36, which is our one yard. Into two is half yard. That's 18. And then I'm going to divide. It's going to give me 878. 978 here. Can you see? So I'm going to place it here and add my one inch for seam. We all know kaftan does not need that. But this kaftan is going to be a bit fitted because it's going to be having zip behind. So I'm going to just add one inch for seam allowance so i'll come to the hip angle which is the hip length to place on my hip line and my hip says 45 i'm going to divide into two and then divide it again and then it says 11 quarter i'll place that here as well and then add my one inch so then i'll use my ruler to connect each of the lines so meet each point and then my hip curve to so curve this out a bit. I'm going to curve this out. Can you see? And then from this point, I'm going to take it straight down. It's not really like we have the other caftans that used to come from the waist angle and not the way down. No, this is going to have a little of shape. So I'm going to pull this up a little. Then from the point of that, my neck, like I said, the, the wideness of my neck, I'm going to take my length. My length says 57 on my notepad. 
I'm going to take it down to 57 here. So you see I don't have issues with my measurements since I've achieved my neck area. I'm going to move this up a little. This is my 57. I'm going to mark my 57 this way. And then I'm going to add my 2 inches for hemming. Half to hold my shoulder and one and a half to fold the bottom of this. So this is it here. Adding my two inches. I'm going to roll this out here. This kaftan is going to be having a lining. So that's why I'm going to take this very, very serious and lovely. So the total measurement I have, have around my hip here, both the measurement of the hip and the seam allowance says 12 and a half inches. I'm going to bring it down here. I'll check it and I'll bring it up again. I'll take it all the way up here. So you can see. So I'm going to roll this out. And so for the down to have um, a little ease, I'll come to this bottom area and mark out two inches and then come up a bit to the hip angle and do this. I'm going to take it out a little and then I'll connect it to my two inches. So it won't be straight all the way down. It's going to have a little space at the bottom. Then at the bottom side, so it doesn't just look too sharpened, I'm going to come down here and take one inch and then curve this area a little. You can use your hip curve to curve this. You can do it with the free hand. So you see, so it doesn't just stand looking that way like if it's a, you're about to fly while you're wearing it. So I'm going to be cutting this out. But before cutting it out, I'm going to explain again, like a little more for you to get what I'm saying here. This is it. I have my shoulder out first, which is eight and a half inches because my shoulder is 16, and then half inch to do my shoulder joining with the sleeve. And then because the neck is kenu, I brought out three inches like our regular English neck, and then brought out the depth of my neck here. I have my four and a half inches. And at first, I brought out two and a half inches for my kenu. This is my two and a half inches. It was not coming out real good the way I want, depending on how deep and wide the person wants it. I brought it out extra half and it's still not giving me till I took extra four inches. So you can see that's when if you notice if you notice the shape properly, you see you're seeing a cane resting on the water. So this is what is going to be remaining on this clothes. I'm going to be working with half inch around here and then this will be left out when you finish sewing like I have on my photo that I showed you before cutting this out. And then I took my armhole length of eight and a half inches. You can see it all the way from here, eight and a half inches. I curved the armhole by one, took a depth around the chest area, taking my five inches length and then took a half inch to curve it out to the armhole using my armhole curve. And then um, I took my, my bust length, which I have here 11, my half length, which is 17. My standard half length is 16 and a half, but when I work with half, it will go up to make it 16 and a half. This is my hip length. It says 25 and a half inches. You can see it. This is my 25 and a half inches. That's when I was able, from this point, to take my length, which says 57, and then added my hemming of 2 inches, half to hold the shoulder, and one and a half to hold the body. So you can see this is um, a kaftan, but a bit fitted to the body. So I'm going to cut this out and show you what it looks like before I can place and cut out the back.
bring this down a little. And I've got my armhole laying the chalk line out. And then the neck so you see the cane properly. So you see. And I'm going to slant this. So you see. All you need to do is place this at the back side and then put a zip allowance for the person to enter because it's a bit fitted. So you see what the design is going to look like when I'm done. So you see, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Can you see the neck? It's looking like a canoe that you see on the on the sea. So when you finish sewing, your half in and another half in. Can you see it's out looking at you, looking very lovely and relaxed. So you see, all you need to do is just put your sleeve because I'm going to be using a three quarter sleeve like I have on the photo. If you feel your armhole is looking a bit small, you can bring it down a little, add extra to it, and then have your complete measurement to go. So, guys, I'm going to be placing this at the back and put my one inch zip allowance and then cut this out so you see. So, I'm just going to arrange this out. This is just one easy method to cut out your cano neck. So like this video, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, drop your comments. Also follow us on our Facebook channel, The Cute Looks. You get to see lovely pictures there and other videos that we drop there. So won't be taking too much of your time on this. I'll just take the back part material, place it, and then cut it out. And this caftan is going to be having a side pocket. So that's why it has some ease on it, even though it's a bit fitted. The person's measurement is not the standard measurement I have here. It actually has ease. So when you're taking a caftan measurement, try to give the person at least one inch ease at both sides. So when you place your one inch extra, it will be falling out at two inches. So the hands can enter into the side pocket and look lovely when they put on the clothes and not having puffs around the area of the pocket side. So I'm going to be placing this here. And then cut out the back area. I don't know. About chalk on the front side, which is wrong. So this is it. I'm going to be using the same pattern I used at the front, trying to get the middle design so it comes out real good. So you can see I'll place this here. But I'll be pushing this out a little because I need zip allowance. So this is the front side. So this is the front side, like we just finished cutting. I'm going to place this here. Move it a little. So I'm going to be taking my one inch zip allowance. I don't need SS because it's a caftan. So all I need is just have a one inch here. You can do more if you like to have lots of zipper allowance, but I prefer using one inch on caftan because you don't need SS. At the end, I'm going to be working with invisible zip, so I won't be needing SS allowance on it. So I'm going to take my ruler and roll out the zip allowance. This is it. This way. 
and run it out. So I bring this closer so I won't be having excess on it. So I'll coat this out in here. Just like I did with the front side, I'm going to coat this out. Then um, around the next side, while you're done cutting the body of this, you bring out your armhole. Don't forget the armhole around this angle that I have my five inches to deep in my chest area. This is five here. The half I took here, I will turn it back to the back side of the caftan. The back side of it is not meant to be deep, so I'll take it back. And you see and then connect to meet the armhole so while I shape I'll make sure I don't take that half inch off so it does not affect the connection of my sleeve so this is just it and I'm still going to meet to the point of my shoulder so can you see so around this neck area like I said since we're already having the front as Kenu you cannot have another back except you're making a V back but the person that has this glue does not need that V back you can have your measurement from here if you're making a V can you see but since we're not making a V we only come to this area at the back and bring the back down a little this way and then take our curve mark out the point of the wideness of our curve and then connect to this place to the depth which is this area so you see so it's not meant to be too deep because the front is not too deep it's wide and not too deep so the back should not be looking different either so I will take the scissors and bring out the back measurement so guys if you're having issues with the kennel neck this video is just a simple logic of how to achieve your kennel neck with no issue after sewing properly relax so you see I'm going to notch here and then I'm going to open the zipper allowance so when I'm sewing it will be easy for me and I'm going to be having a slit on this as well so the person can have good passage around the leg area and lots of ease So guys, when somebody says they want uh, a fitted caftan, there's no way you can ask for a fitted caftan with no fastener to pass it to the clothes. Simply make their caftan this way for them. Don't make the bottom too big. Give them a bit fitted area around the waist and around the hip and then they'll still look good inside of the caftan. So we're done with this clothes we have here. You can see it looking simple and lovely. This is the front side. Wow. So you see, all design coming out neat and nice. Same thing is happening here. When I open it, you see, it's looking lovely. So you see, this is a zipper side, this is it as well. You can see, it designs are falling real good where they're supposed to. So, thank you guys for joining me in my today's tutorial. I'm really happy you stayed with me. So whenever you want to make a lovely caftan that is fitted, you try with this idea. It's very simple and very nice to achieve. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next tutorial. And like I said, don't forget to like this video, drop your comments, hit the notification bell and subscribe. Alright guys, bye.